When do you or your child need an expander? Three considerations for you. Let's go. Expanders, they are a very common tool that orthodontists, sometimes dentists, will use to expand. Help with space management and crossbites. Check out our other videos. The question is, is when do you need the expander? The first consideration, less than 10 years old, all right? In my opinion, using an expander in a child that is less than 10 years old is quite a predictable process. You're pathetically predictable. That means if you have a crossbite or if you need to make some space, you're, you're concerned about erupting teeth or you want help with the alignment of teeth at that age, doing an expander, separating bone or just spreading teeth out, that is a very predictable age to do that, right? Anytime below that. Don't be going out and doing expanders at age one, right after you come out of the womb. You know, less than 10 years old is a very predictable age. The bone, right, makes up a palate, right? this half and this half, they come together. If you wanna separate that bone, that jaw bone, orthopedic movement, doing the procedure with an expander when you're less than 10 years old, puts you in a pretty good spot to be successful in those changes. Now, everybody's a little bit different, but that is a good idea. If you might need an expander, doing it sometime less than 10, puts you in a good spot for it, specifically for the bone changes. Now, you can always you know, push teeth, that's not the same. Less than 10, definitely a predictable age range. Second consideration, what if you still have all of your baby teeth though? If your child has all of their baby teeth still in the mouth, no permanent teeth, that could be six years or younger. Maybe you ought to wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Until you start getting some of your permanent teeth in. But if we're younger than the age of six, there's still so much growing that has to be done. And so our bones and our teeth are going to continue to move and fill out a little bit. So when you see a problem at age one, that problem may not be there by the time you get to seven, eight, nine, ten. At least you have all those years to see. It's been 84 years. You can come into your orthodontist at age seven. We can evaluate the position of your jaw bones and your teeth to help you understand if an expander is beneficial and for what reasons. That's an important question to ask your provider. What reasons? First, remember, less than 10, very predictable for bony expansion and tooth tipping out to the side. But really, specifically, we're talking about bony expansion. Second, right? Less than six years old, or if you have all of your baby teeth still, I would recommend that you just wait it out. Unless there is a very specific condition, maybe a medical condition that you've been diagnosed with, your child's been diagnosed with, that requires very early and immediate attention. That doesn't happen very often, just so you know. Final consideration is, what if you are older than about puberty? Hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Yeah. You didn't know that puberty was an age, and it's not really, it's kind of more like a range. Puberty doesn't just happen on one day. You don't just go from, you know, like Captain America. That man hit puberty in one day because he got in there, he's all like, Ooh, and then he's like, Ooh. after that machine, it was like 20 seconds worth of puberty on steroids. The age range of puberty, let's say you're past that. You've already gone through your major growth spurt. If this is your case, using expanders to get bony expansion is much less predictable. That means that the teeth in the bone, when you put an expander up in the jaw, right, in the top jaw, and you try to push out and you're trying to get these bones to separate right? You get more space. What can happen is this is a mature suture at that point. That means the, the bone kind of fits together and it locks in. Now, it may not fuse, which would be total completion of growth. It may not fuse, but it becomes very highly interdigitated. That's a fun word. Highly interdigitated, which means that when you try to spread it apart, it doesn't want to do it as easily. So you have to apply high pressure. And even then, you may not get the same changes. And so what happens is instead of the bone splitting, the pressure is applied to the teeth and the teeth just boink, tip out like that. And, you know, as you push teeth out to the further limits of the bone, it can be unhealthy. Not always an immediate consequence or even ever, but it just is a theoretical consequence that you push too far. And anyway, so we don't always want tipping of teeth. So when you're past puberty, that may get a little bit harder if you're trying to do an expander, right? And get the bony expansion. Two more thoughts about expanders past puberty. One is that there are techniques that you can apply instead of putting the expander on the teeth you put screws in your bones with the expander and you can apply at that point a greater force to the bone so even though you're highly digitated if you're young enough still right maybe in your teenage years even if you're past puberty you can still separate the bone but you just need the higher pressure and you can apply that with screws in your bones that eventually come out don't worry about it i think we made another video about that check it out it's called the marpy mini screw assisted rapid palatal expansion what 
All right, so that's a possibility for teenagers and maybe some young adults. But again, the older you get, the harder it is. So let's say you're just, you know, you're past the point where it's like, hey, this might not be predictable, even with the assistance of screws. What are my options? What if I have a narrow palate? I'm sorry, but the predictable answer at that point is called the SARPI, the Surgically Assisted Rapid Palate Expansion. What? That means that you're gonna go to the surgeon, they're gonna cut in your bones, cut your bones in certain spots. No thanks, I choose life. And then we use an expander, we still put an expander in, and then we we separate the bones, but the surgery is what assists in the separation. The expander just applies the force. And so that can become the most predictable way to correct a narrow jaw or some combination of the mini screws plus the surgery can really help get separation. Lots of information about expanders, when to get expanders that you can incorporate as you visit with your provider. Maybe it's me, hopefully it's me. We're in McKinney and Anna, Texas. Come and visit us, schedule a visit and I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. If you can, share this with your friend. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like, help us out. Talk later, adios.